پکن آروم آروم مهرت همچون کمن برگردنم حلق زد آتش به جان و دل زد تموم شده صبر من دستم بگیر جان من در اسرت روی تو آ از تمنای تو عمرم به سر شد ببین پرده ز رویت بکن مردم از هجرت از غم رویت سوخت ببین عاشق تو از فراغ تو مردم از هجرت از غم رویت سوخت ببین عاشق تو از فراغ 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 تو In the name of God Introduction to Farad Armani Farad Armani is a type of alternative therapy with a mystic perspective and is a branch of interuniversalism founded by Muhammad Ali Tahiri. In this branch of therapy, the patient is linked to the interuniversal consciousness, the network of consciousness or intelligence governing the universe, the Holy Ghost, by the fur therapist, therapist who practices Farad Armani. While the patient is undergoing treatment through this method, he might feel warmness, coldness, pain, stinging, convulsions, seizures and etc which in turn reveals the conflicting parts of the body, thus removing the symptoms and leading to a complete treatment of the disease or dysfunctional parts. The name Farad Armani, literal translation, metatherapy, is derived from the holistic perspective called interuniversalism. This perspective views man's existence as vast and limitless as the universe and not just a pile of meat and bones. According to interuniversalism, man is a complex internetwork of physique, psyche, mind and numerous other bodies, energy transformers, chakras, limited and obstructed energy channels, acupuncture, various fields of polarity, bioplasma, cellular consciousness, molecular frequency, and a limitless list of other undiscovered layers and parts. Every part of the human existence is scanned while his whole existence is examined by the interuniversal consciousness, which then continues to treat the illness according to its own discretion. The dysfunctional or conflicting parts are identified accordingly and prioritized for analysis and treatment by the interuniversal consciousness. We can use this method to treat any kind of illness by establishing a link to the interuniversal consciousness. Thus, the fur therapist is not permitted to consider any disease incurable because the interuniversal consciousness is capable of treating any malady or dysfunction conceivable or inconceivable. The interuniversal consciousness is a collection of intelligence that governs the universe and is one of the three main elements that make up the world we live in. Since consciousness is neither matter nor energy, means that it is not confined to the dimensions of time and space. Therefore, treatment over long-range and close-range distances is possible. It is not quantifiable or measurable, and as mentioned before, its manifestation is simply felt when various parts of the body are stimulated through the treatment process. With this in mind, it can be safe to assume that no one can attribute its power or influence to themselves. Contrary to other practices and methods, the process of Farad Armani cannot be attributed to a human factor because it is based on a connection to the interuniversal consciousness, and the Farad therapist merely plays the role of an intermediary in the process. This connection between the Farad therapist and the patient creates a halga, cycle, of unity, which is linked to a superior consciousness. Therefore, those who are not a part of this process are in fact deprived of its benefits. 
The quintessential condition for achieving results from Farad Armani is to be completely impartial during the process, just like a jury witnessing a trial. Thus having faith or beliefs do not play a role in the process. With the above explanations, it is evident that Farad Armani does not rely on the skill or energy of the therapist, and there is no need to have any special powers or talents because treatment is conducted by A. Superior consciousness and personal abilities do not play a role in the process. Therefore, the therapist does not face any kind of physical attenuation or exhaustion and does not require to recharge in nature or elsewhere. The existence of the protective layer provides a protection for the ferrotherapist against the radiation of dysfunctional cellular consciousness or negative consciousness, and also from the attack of inorganic creatures and etc. Another important factor of becoming a ferrotherapist is that the individual cannot achieve this privilege through practice or effort. The only way of acquiring this privilege is to acquire the protective layer which is endowed after having written the letter of oath which binds the user of this service to specific terms that forbid them from abusing these privileges to their own advantage. In this method, the individual is stripped of any personal abilities and can apply this endowed privilege simply by acquiring the protective layer and thus establishing a link for the patient. This is done without the use of any special method by which the ferrotherapist can attribute to himself or any special equipment, concentration, conceptions, mantra, symbols, indoctrination, self-hypnotism, and etc. One of the greatest and possibly the ultimate goal of Farad Armani is to equip mankind with many spiritual capabilities, which can lead one through the path of self-discovery and unlock their true potentials. This priceless gift offers the opportunity for mankind to achieve unprecedented levels of personal growth, enlightenment, and elucidation with a profound understanding of the universe. Once this is achieved on a personal level, it can lead to the growth of the communal spirit of society, which can ease the pain and suffering of mankind. Such a feat will not only untie man from the shackles of his confinement and diseases created by his own erroneous conceptions, it will also be the key to unlock many hidden potentials to help him find his true path through the universe. Treatment is one of the methods used for helping the therapist and patient achieve the following goals. Understanding and becoming familiar with the practical aspect of divine consciousness, exploiting the hidden potential of the self, and achieving the knowledge of perfection. Freedom from self-confinement. Service to humanity. Understanding practical worship. Therefore, Farad Armani can have the power to pave the way for spiritual enlightenment and personal growth for the patient. Since physical treatment of an illness is ineffective unless there is real internal change in the individual, therefore, coming into direct contact with the interuniversal consciousness can expose these deep-rooted issues, and the patient in turn becomes aware of a much higher consciousness, a profound source of truth which can pave the way for personal and spiritual growth. Very important note. Age, gender, nationality, literacy, education, research, knowledge, spiritual experience, individual talents, skill, diet, exercise, austerity, and etc. are useless when working with the interuniversal consciousness this is because this service is a part of the divine communal mercy and is available for everyone without exceptions. It is not plausible to consider the human being as the inmate of a solitary confinement, imprisoned in the dark abyss of his own solitude. The blueprint of creation is based on an intelligent design, therefore it is unreasonable to assume that such a god would take action without a plan or purpose. The creation and the evolution of man has since been following a grand purpose, and as we travel through this pathway, we find that this plan is far more spectacular than a simple grudge between God and the devil, but in fact, it is all within the process of fulfilling a much higher objective, an objective which is designed for the transcendence of humanity into the height of its perfection, Amal, and for this movement to take place, God has made special provisions for man within the context of his communal mercy. Without the aid of God's communal mercy, humans are confined within the bounds of their own limitations. Along this fluctuating path of ups and downs, his mercy has always come to the aid of man, and it would be highly unlikely that humanity could have survived this predicament without it. God has extended his rope of mercy for the ascension of man, and it is free for all to use. It is free for all those who yearn for ascension, who seek salvation and desire perfection. The blessings of God are unquantifiable and unlimited and man is far too nearsighted to even understand the bounties of these blessings.
The road to perfection is always divided into two pathways, the path of unity and the path of multiplicity. The realm of unity is applied to a perception that enables man to perceive the world as one united body, a world where all its components are considered as God's manifestations. In such a state of understanding, the human being finds himself connected and unified with all the parts of the universe. The realm of multiplicity is applied to a perception which divides human beings from each other to such an extent that each individual world is merely limited to his own comfort zone where one cannot validate anything or anyone outside these limitations. One becomes self-centered and only cares for himself and everything within his own egocentric system of values, while constantly striving to protect his own personal interests and property. This attitude leads to an inner conflict which cripples the individual's ability to connect with the environment and society, thus making social interaction unbearable. Sticking to the path of unity allows one to maximize his capacity for benefiting from God's communal mercy while exploring the opportunities and services available to his disposal that can make his journey on this pathway much unmore fruitful. On the contrary, those who have chosen the path of multiplicity are left to their own discernment and forced to entirely rely on their own limited knowledge and capacity. They must find their way without the benefit of any superior aid. Faradharmani is a branch of interuniversal Irfan, Helge, and is one of the services provided by God's communal mercy, which gives us access to the healing mechanism of the interuniversal consciousness. In order to establish a link to this Helge, the candidate must give his consent for the union with at least one other person taking part. Once this union is established, the third participant which is involved is the Holy Spirit, Angel Gabriel. And finally, God is involved as the fourth participant, who manifests his mercy through the Holy Spirit and thus. The cycle is complete. Seest thou not that God doth know all that is in the heavens and on earth? There is not a secret consultation between three, but he makes the fourth among them, nor between five but he makes the sixth, nor between fewer nor more but he is in their midst, wheresoever they be. In the end will he tell them the truth of their conduct. On the day of judgment, for God has full knowledge of all things. Holy Quran. Mujadala. 7. The second participant, or the person who serves as the connector in this link is in fact fulfilling his duty as a Unitarian, Muvahud, to establish the unity of God by spending of what we have provided them, Bakara. 3. And helping others move in this direction. People whom we call Muvahud are those who have understood and accepted the union of God and thus, encourage others towards unity and peace with themselves, and the universe. Wishing you divine awakening. Muhammad Ali Tahiri